Uh, the next app, which is more of a utility app, is called AppFresh. And um, it finds out which apps that you have need to be updated. So it's very handy if you don't want all of them like checking for updates at startup and clogging up your software update um, thing in Mac OS X. Um, so it just scans it when you press the refresh button. And then it gives you a list of all the ones that need an update. So you pick one of them and then you'll just hit update. And it's pretty simple. Uh, I've updated the major ones I use. And it works. Uh, there's not much more to say. When something works, it's definitely doing something right. So if you have a lot of apps, like I have over 170, so this is a big need for me, then it's definitely worth it. Uh, the next app is actually a free screen recorder for Mac OS X, which I didn't know existed. But um, it does and it works fine. There's both a free and a pay version. Um, I, I only have the free version. So what it does is it has this cool effect and it just records the screen. It does what it says like a lot of these applications. Um, it has this little thing here which is like its control panel and from here you can just hit start capture, you can play with the preferences and stuff like that. So, um, in the free version, as you can see, you can go pro. Uh, I think the only drawback is it has to be in flash format instead of MP4, which is what most people are familiar with. But with flash format, you can easily upload it right to the internet, like YouTube. Uh, I think most of their stuff is .swf, which is what this is. So, it would actually possibly work better than some other ones. Uh, because it records right in Flash. The last app that I like to suggest is an app called Monolingual. Mono, Monolingual. I, I don't really know how to say it. <laughs> um, it's Mono. Yeah, here we go. Monolingual, I guess. And what this does is uh, sort of like AppFresh. It scans your computer for all apps but instead of updating them it removes all of the unnecessary um, language packs so here this is the list of all of the language packs that most applications have um, this is great for getting rid of uh, for getting more hard drive space I ran this I probably have more apps than you because I had 170 but it cleared up something like three or four gigs of space I didn't really need the space, but I thought that it couldn't hurt, and within a couple hours it was done, so I thought that it was a great download, and you can't go wrong with anything that's free. Thank you for watching, and please visit my website at howtoforcomputers.com. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and while you're there, check out a couple of my other videos. Thank you.